third in Philly. So yet another hometown uh, hero coming out here to try to fight off against New York. Now Blazing Pasta, Peach Extraordinaire. Yes. Really good peach. And one of the two different peaches that we got in top eight, the other one being Lingling, who's waiting up in winner's finals. Yeah, for what, winner's I, semi. It's what I, I've noticed that Asa tends to play a little bit slower than Lingling does. He doesn't constantly look for the death combo at all percents, where you know you just you get down tilted into imagination. Right. Um, he's going to play a little bit of a slower pace. Naturally, you know, with peach, the damage can rack out quickly and frequently, so you always have to keep that uh, in the back of your mind. So let's now, see how things work out for Dill. And it's interesting that you're mentioning that because, like, Blazing Pasta was being a little aggressive, and I think he's recognizing that Rob wins the long range game. He's got the he's got the laser, he's got the gyro, so this all comes into place. And I love that bait front uh, that, that 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 decision. From Blazing Pasta, he saw the gyro right in front of him, pulled out the toad. The spores coming into play, and the toad spores go so far in this game. Seriously, man, jeez. Okay, chilling down below. Dill likes to go for the peekaboo from down below. <laughs> Good call out. One, one habit I always notice from Dill when he's on that ledge, he loves going for the roll as like maybe one of his panic options. And Blazing Pasta tends to always be there, right, right, right there to cover the option. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say that was super smart from Pasta. He perfectly spaced the fair to where it would keep Dylan shield and auto cancel, and able to follow up with the Peach Bomber for the kill. Oh, and that's the bad part about doing Arm Rotor is it puts you in a bad spot. But managed to get back to the stage safe and sound. Blazing Pasta didn't really capitalize on that, but that's okay. I also, love Pasta, I also love Pasta's use of Rotor at these low percents. Like with the nerf to that move, it does count as like it's technically a combo starter now which is very strange to say. And, you know, I've seen Pasta make, utilize great use of it. And again, um, Dill trying to get something generated, gets the down throw. Great pop up with the up tilt, but still not going to be enough to get the kill. Yeah, still got my 139. It goes for the arm rotor again. I don't know if that was the correct option, but again, when he's off stage, he seems to get back to the stage safe and sound. He's really good at uh, baiting out when he's going to go up really fast or stay down below for as long as possible. Dude, almost getting the gnarly combo right there, but unfortunately not missing the re-grab on Rob. Just needs one grab and speak of the devil. Goes for the, uh, I mean, there was literally like a wrestling ring right next to us earlier, and that's exactly <laughs> what he did to Peach. He just body slammed. They had a Super Smash Brothers tournament going on over there. It was quite strange. To yeah. The least. Like, like cosplay. Shout out to Isabel. Uh, she won somehow. Uh, so we got Blazing Pasta. Back on stage for 26%, trying to catch Dill off stage. Dill trying to be tricky, catch him with a fully charged laser. This is going to be a lot of damage. You know that it stings. Yeah, and Dill's slowly starting to creep his way back into things. Great parry on the back air uh, from Pasta. And there you go, gets the falling fair, and now that's where Peach makes her money, right in that area right there, keep, mm. keeping you trapped on the ledge till the cows come home. Yeah, she loves Town and City for that reason, just for this one platform. Allows her to go off super deep and super high with the floats that she has established. Dill. And honestly, at this point, Paz is just kind of respecting Dill's recovery. He, he, I, I think he's just trying to like dissect what's going to happen. Oh, just oh a hair God. too slow. Dill was, res <laughs> Dill was respecting the Toad Sports because he thought it was going to trigger. I think both of them thought that the, the, the counter was going to come out. And because Dill reacted a little bit too late, was able to get the spot dodge out in time. Nice catch with the gyro, putting it down, forcing him to recover. Oh. High gets caught by the parasol. Wide open. Back throw. Good night. There we go. And all that just for the single nick. Just for the, the parasol. Yeah, honestly. It, it, that active hitbox. Oh, what was that combo? Oh my god! <laughs> 71 damage on Dill. That was disgusting. The simulation is failing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, we're, no, we're no longer in the Matrix, man. We're breaking free. <laughs> there we go. Got the gyros. Tries to get the punish on that, but gets caught by the uh, hips. They don't lie. Trying to get back to the stage again. Now Blazing Pasta trying to chop. And that's why Pelka, not Pelka, Blazing Pasta, I think, was respecting Dill's recovery. Because the second he goes off that deep, loses the stock. Granted, he was at high percent. He had another stock to play with. So it's OK for him to experiment with that. Going staying on stage this time around, going for the downer, the downer to just poke on the ledge instead. Yeah, Pasta just put the, put the load on, uh, on Dill right there. And as you see, he's bleeding mighty heavily right now. So all it's going to take is, you know, one or two really strong hits, probably neutral air or the Peach Bomb if you want to get cheeky. Yeah. Not to close things out. And again, both these players are actually using a ton of side B to put themselves in a bad spot when they win. But nice call out with the forward air. Going to seal it off with the crown game one going to Blazing Pasta. Yeah, that was absolutely nuts on the part of, uh, of Pasta. Like I said, like I didn't see him go for the explosive combos a lot. Again, it's just a lot of him like you know beating you out in neutral and keeping you trapped at the ledge. But Pasta literally opened up a can of carbs. On, uh, yeah. on Dill right there. That was absolutely insane. And there's a lot of players that could really struggle against the likes of Peach Bomber or Arm Rotor offstage like that. 
But you got to remember, when they go for it, they put themselves at risk. Because if they whiff like they've been doing, they're suddenly in disadvantage. They're suddenly the ones off stage, and the other player has stage control. So it's, it's, like, it's a high risk, high reward type of deal. I mean, odds are they should be landing it, but uh, both players have been doing a fantastic job of avoiding those uh, kills. So now we got Dill. Dill's no stranger to being down in the set count, too. He, just earlier, he was down 2-0 to zero against 6WX before winning three games in a row. So Dill's, Dill's in it for the long game. Yeah, so let's see how things work out here. Dill going to stick with the Rob. Don't really see him using anybody else. So Yeah, I, honestly, he's not going to gonna bust out anyone else. He is Rob through and through. He has not touched Diddy Kong in, like... Well, when did, when did DKC2 come out? So we got Final Destination here. 71. Yeah? No. That was a good guess. Oh, what? The? Okay. You got it. Yeah, so I noticed in uh, in an earlier set that Dill played, he played a lot better when he remembered that Rob's down tilt was a move. Yo, hold up. He is not letting him <laughs> land. Is he out of jumps? Oh he tried to get the down tilt. If he would have connected that, he would have sent him right into the gyro. Another up air, oh! and that's a zero dead. Dill did not allow Pasta to touch home base. That was nuts. You could have asked for a better starter. For yeah. Though. Honestly, just getting rid of those platforms helped him out a ton. There was nowhere for Blazing Pasta to escape the second his double jump was gone. Yeah, the stages Pasta got rid of were stages that have like wide open spaces in the middle as well as platforms to the side. So being FD and Kalos. Mm. So no surprises he still uh, take him to FD here. Right. Just another big stage. I mean, Rob's thrive off of big stages regardless, just because of the you know the projectile door. Right, of course. Okay, landing down with the neutral air comes flying with the dash attack, sets him up extremely nicely for the forward air. Okay, we're chilling down below. You see him actually throw out that nair just in case Pasta wants to go down there and challenge. Ooh, good use of the down air right there to catch yeah. the jump. Oh! All that off of a safe option, which is extremely smart gameplay coming from Blazing Pasta. You see him go for the down air, sets him up extremely nicely. If he whiffs, whatever, he can just back off because he's in the middle of the float. And it led up into the turn up forward air kill. Smart stuff. Ooh, that could have been really bad for Pasta. Yeah, but Peach Bomber has a recovery. My goodness. It's pretty good. Okay, taking the gyro in hand. Takes the Peach in hand. <laughs> nice bait. I like that. Throwing out the down tilts while she's holding on to the ledge. The force a ledge get up option. Now the gyro is putting it in a peculiar spot. This yeah. is for forces pa Blazing Pasta make an option because that gyro is coming down. Dill yeah, loves really, playing around with it. That was really good edge, uh, ledge trapping there from Dill. Rob, and, you know, playing against Peach, you usually expect Peach to be the ledge trapper, but Rob, yeah. you know, doing a great job trading spaces right there. That parry uh, could have started something big for Pasta, but he just wasn't in the position to get something generated. And now Dill looking for a grab. More or less, yeah. There it is. Survey says no. no. Oh, I, I, okay, so you don't have the platforms to assist you with the seismic toss. Okay. <laughs> Spore's coming in. I mean, just make Toad his own character at this point. He's putting in mad work. Got 181%. Oh, okay. Kobe. Almost got the sniper -oo. Forward air. I mean, he was stuck. He was out of jumps. He had to go for the parasol. And the only thing that Blazing Pasta could do at that point was try to, like, weave in and out to bait out the forward air. But Dill just went in immediately. Yeah, without a doubt. So didn't, get, didn't get caught by the active hitbox either. Yeah, so now Pasta has a little bit of ground to make up here. You know, Rob being a bigger character, he's, he's going to be... You know, uh, take it for rides very late uh, in percents on these combos, but let's see if Pasta gets a chance to do so. Great uh, run up grab. Ooh, throwing the turn up right back at her. There you go, Dash Attack once again the break zone. Now Peach having both items at her disposal. A great parry on the back air once again, setting up for another reset of neutral. Okay, we're gonna try to get that turn up. I like that swing from Dill, allowed him to catch the turn up while also giving him an active hitbox to get back to the stage. Okay, we're chilling. Again, got the Toad, oh. got the laser. And that, we've seen Toad come out so many times from Blazing Pasta. I'm shocked. Yeah, it must be allergy season. My man is sneezing yeah. all over the place. It is. I mean, it was spring. Might as well still be spring. <laughs> Global warming and all that. Hey, Here we go. Gyro in the corner. Down tilt's going to set up some combos, but because he was off stage, wasn't able to get optimal damage off of it. There could have been a worse time to get a Peach down yep. tilt than right then. Center stage. Looking for the down tilt, copy oh, between oh, a rock oh, and a hard place. Down throw, going to go for the up tilt. Honestly, whenever Dill recognizes that his opponent's going to mash while in the middle of that grounded spot, he always goes for the up tilt. He's trying to pop him up into an up air. Dash attack once again. Pasta, you know, he's bleeding, but he's not Ooh. saying die just yet. But Swing. There we go. My man is flailing his arms. Swing low, sweet chariot. Let's 
we move on into game three here. Tied up 1-1, Austin. Can you sing that song for me? No. Okay, that's fine. Sweet love. I'm not going to do it. Sweet cherry. You literally just told me you couldn't. So we're going to jump into game <laughs> number three. I said I couldn't. I said I wouldn't. You wouldn't. It's a difference. Couldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't. Yeah, because there we go. There. That's, the one. Uh, that, that's the magic three. We got another counter pick coming out from Pasta. You know, he's still sitting nicely. He got the game one. Whenever you win game one, that gives you technically the counter pick advantage going into these next sets, right? You won on the neutral yep. stage, so you got more counter picks to work with if you're going to opt in to go for, like, you know, stage switches, character switches, for instance. Exactly. So. It looks like the bands were Battlefield and Yoshi. So looks like we're going to go back to Smashville here uh, for game number three. Let's start up. I think this is a good stage for both these characters. It honestly. is. Like, honestly, Dill is really good on large open stages because of the projectile game. But that doesn't mean he doesn't shy away from the smaller stages. He likes the close quarters combat as well because it gives him the ability to, you know, connect those grabs. But right now, Blazing Boss is the one thriving oh! off this <laughs> counter pick. You saw that connection with the down air. Connected it completely into the forward air to push him back off stage. The pressure out of control. I feel like we're seeing a repeat of game number two, but on the other side. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Where you landed? Where, you la Where did he land? That was just peachy. I'll say so myself. Uh, I don't see no daisies anywhere. <laughs> okay, so we're well, jumping in the next. Pretty soon, Pasta's gonna be pushing up daisies, or Dill's gonna be pushing up daisies if uh, you know he doesn't get his act together here. I mean, he's starting to. He's got the advantage right now. He's got an 87% again, going for the arm rotor. And honestly, Dill has not landed a single arm rotor against Pasta. Which I haven't is seen him shocking. land a single arm rotor in any of the sets I've seen him play. Like, like just today in general. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bad Might not be the play. Bad day for side B. Yeah, bad day. Stock is down heavily. Yeah. Ooh, up smash. Side was gonna get aggressive. Ooh, that, that was sneaky. It, it was also scary because of the momentum from it. It pushed him back off stage where he was trying to get away from in the first place. Okay, laser, just easy hold shield to fight against it. This is where shield is your best friend. And you notice that Blazing Pasta likes to just jab the gyro. Right? Big punish. Coming out. Wow, he went to gyro right there. That didn't even mess up Pasta. You know, I, I think that was that the one that Pasta jabbed? Because when you when you jab the gyro, it becomes in your face, or it's like it, it becomes a uh, more akin to ah, you. Okay, yeah, you know? probably. Okay, another up there on the ledge of the stage, swing constantly. I heard the golf swing. <laughs> I'm ready to go to the greens, man. Here we go up hey air. <laughs> That's gonna be Dill's first stock, but he's already bleeding in this next one. But I guess robots can't bleed because they don't have souls. This is getting into a spot that I don't want to go to, so I'm just going to talk about the game. There we go. Uh, once again, Rob, back in disadvantage here. Possum, again. Ooh. Oh, the gyro assisting. Again, they're, they're just trading each other. They're literally just unga bunga yeah, into I'm, each other, just slamming each other. I was going to say, Dill does so much better when he can, you know, land these down tilts, but because Peach is naturally going to try to approach it from the air, you don't really get an opportunity to do so. But the back air, so you don't have to stock there, so Blaze and Pasta uh, just trying to add on to this lead right now. Not only because she's airborne so much, it doesn't allow him to be able to connect the grabs either, which he also thrives off of. He gets so much combo damage off of it during early percents, as well as like kills during the later percents. Going for the down tilt, this is where it starts to shine with these ledge catches. Up air, off of the up tilt. Not enough to get the kill. We saw the sparks, but not just yet. 136% tries to catch the down air. Good wait from Pasta to get back to the stage, delaying the parasol. There you go. Gyro once more. Up smash. Oh my Good out of shield punish. I like that. Blazing Pasta attempting to go for the cross up. Oh. But up smash doesn't care where you are. I was going to say, we had a cinch face on the field right there, but Pasta just opted to drop it, move on with things. Yeah. Completely deleted. Waiting for better crops. <laughs> it is Animal Crossing after all. That okay. is true. There we go. 45 on Pasta. Okay, so that was an interesting arm rotor. Maybe trying to use it as like a reflective projectile, but Pasta didn't really have anything, so. Now Dill shines himself in the, you know, the lead here slightly, but all can be erased with just a single touch from Peach's down tilt or dash attack. And honestly, the pressure that Pasta's doing against Dill's shield uh, makes, he does it in such a way that it's incredibly hard for Dill to try to get like a punish afterwards. So that's why he's doing this. And so Dill, honestly, it might be better off for him to just wait for the next option to go wait for his turn. There Ooh. we go, another gyro. Throwing it downwards, trying oh to get the nair God. off of it too. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, Dill getting a little bit more creative with his gyro usage here. Definitely throwing Pasta kind of a different look. He wanted, he started readying up a back air. I don't know, I, that might have killed, I'm not sure. Here we go, down tilt, up tilt, looking for the up air right afterwards in the New York City local. 
getting yet another point on the board. Two to one in Dill's favor. And just like that, that advantage that I was talking about earlier in terms of counter picks is gone. Yeah, if you look here, Dill uh, pretty much erases this first stock uh, from Pasta. That right. was yeah. that was special. Uh, that, that was happy times. Take a look at the highlights once again. And Brandon just runs over to Gyro. Yep. Gets the up air. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Dill always looking for these grabs because he gets, like I said, he gets the kills off of them. Yeah, it's 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 so huge, man. Like I said, like it's so tricky fighting against Peach as a character like Rob when like Peach is naturally going to be in your face, like mm. in the air a lot. So you can't really get grabs. You can't really down tilt or set her up, mm. especially when those are two of Rob's, you know, biggest combo starters that he has to work with. So. And what's crazy is that Dill was playing from a deficit that entire game until this last stock when Dill managed to sneak him that up smash out of shield and he turned the tides on him. The second he connected this grab, which was the uh, seal dealer. And we're going to jump into game three while yeah, we man. figure out the stages. Here we go. We got uh, Yoshis and Battlefield getting banned from Dill. Doesn't even want to deal with the Triplash. Just get them out of there completely. Yeah, man. So here we go. This is now or never for the Pennsylvania homeboy. Let's see if this is uh, going to be enough. We already saw one Philly player drop. Are oh, we about to see another one in their own home region? I mean, New York and New Jersey are here. And so is New England, I guess. And Connecticut. And Connecticut. There's a lot. This is like the Northeast. This, is really the Northeast nice. is here, man. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Starting off very similar to the last game, we got Pasta with Dill off stage, taking on a ton of damage. Am I just watching a VOD? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I saw this. Wait, hold on a sec. There we go. Up air, up air. Okay, Dill opting to just go for the upbeat to get him out of like just danger, because he recognized if you try to challenge that one more time, he might have died. Ooh, okay. Point blank. That he got, she got fired. Getting a lot of skirting around right now. Once again, Dill kind of off his back foot here in the, in the start of this game. Recovering down super low. Got a lot of gas in that tank. Catches the up here because he's no noticed that Blazing Pass is jumping. It's a slight commitment. Yeah. Just has enough gas to get back to the station, man. Right, throws the gyro point blank right back in his face again. Planting, using the zone tool against him as, a, as an attempt for the ledge option, which is why Dill opted to go for the platform and said, oh. takes the trade, gets the stock. Great stock right there from Blazing Pasta. Trying to send it to a game five once again. Ooh, not safe right there. You saw him land right. Oh. Cow out that landing. You got to land right in front of him. Got a forward smash. Like, it, uh, Rob saw something. I'm a fire in my lasers. Yeah. Oh, God, you just took me back to like 2008. <laughs> Up air, out of that air dodge, a second one. Can I get a third? Just kidding. He didn't want it. He wanted to play it safe. He didn't want that smoke. And I, I respect it. Another point blank kept force. I, I just, I'm not used to the opponents catching fire off the laser. I don't know, something, man. Something you gotta throw yeah. a different looking people to kind of yeah. throw them off. It does a lot of damage too. So that look is not just there for uh, style. Oh yeah, it's not just a you know personality trait. It's actually, it's got some use. Them, them evil eyes. Another forward air jumping over the gyro. I like that empty hop. Go for the grab right afterwards to push him off stage. Dill, and honestly, I feel like Dill is getting back to stage for free a lot of these times. Yeah, I agree. I don't think Pasta's really like gotten a beat and not an edge guard Rob, but oh! oh you're going to jump. What a trade. That back air was indeed nice. Pasta? Out from uh, Dill. Okay, there we go. Another Toad Spore sending him off 113%. Looking for that forward air. So you see Dill trying to retrieve, but catches the ledge jump. One stock apiece. Here we go. Blazing Pasta still in this fight. He connected the down tilt, but because it was a trade, it wasn't getting able to get any combo damage off of it. Yeah, so once again, we're back at a stalemate. <laughs> Just stop using Roto arms still. I mean, eventually it'll land, and when it does, it'll be nice. Down oh. tilt. Nair? Oh. Okay, he had to air dodge back on that platform again. Dill looking to close out the set immediately. Trying to carry around with this lead. Pasta going for a burst option in the form of dash attack. Try to break the zone. Yeah, now Pasta on the back foot now. You see Dill starting to throw out these forwarders kind of in the middle range. You know, knowing that uh, Peach is going to want to approach you from that height right in front of you. He's starting to ready to laser. Ooh, oh good combos God. off the gyro and it continues. That was going to get a, a little greedy. He's going off super deep. Trying to burn out the gas in the tank, but Rob has a lot. He challenges him with the up air. Oh, he ran out of gas. Air dodges to get back on the stage. Manages to charge up his gas tank again. That was almost destructive. We call that fuel efficiency, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at Mighty Green. 
Hit the eco button. Oh, but that foreigner once again gonna buy pasta some time. Now Dill's gonna get back on the ledge. Another peekaboo moment. Nice. Applies pressure with the aerial to get the grab right afterwards. Sets him up extremely nicely for the up air. But he ah! lives. He's alive. 144%. What's he gonna do? He breathes. Oh! You told me. You told me it wouldn't work. But he's still alive. Oh. Forward air again. <laughs> oh my god. There he's dead. It. He's done. Good night. There, there it go. is. I, I that that <laughs> camera scene oh change almost god. scared me for a second because he didn't die right away <laughs> off of that throw. So for like a second, wait. There's is there a way that pasta lives? I cannot believe the entire game. Arm rotor after arm rotor, just whiffing and whiffing, putting Rob into terrible positions, whether to get punished or off stage, until the final one <laughs> that he lands gives him enough breathing room for Dill to just solidify that set. As he's going to take a pl Blazing Pasta down to seventh place off of a 3 1 victory and move on into loser's quarters. I'll say this, Austin, you had much more faith in the rotor arms than I did. Look so. at this. This is. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm just so happy. It's just, who does that? I'm just so happy he landed it. In what book is Jump Roto Arms the option? I mean, it, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, that, of course, really that Peach Bomber uh, not going to meet its mark. Yeah. And game. <laughs> His hand was already out there. He was ready. He was like, I cannot believe that happened. So there we go. Dill still alive, giving New York City a fresh air of breath.